Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Today is the uh, day of bad news for Ukraine, it seems like. Uh, for the past, I don't know, five videos that I posted, it's just like bad news one after another, and this is another one that I think is bad news. And it has to do with North Korea. Now, you might think, what the what has North Korea have to do with Ukraine. Well, this article comes from, I have two articles actually, uh, but about the same subject. This article is from Republic World from uh, today, June, uh, June, <laughs> June 13th, and the other one is from uh, uh, European Pravda from the same date, 13th of July. And the first title is this, North Korea formally recognizes Ukraine's DPR, independent after Russia's ally Syria. So, the international status, status of Donetsk People's Republic and its statehood continue to get stronger. This is another diplomatic victory for us, Pushilin said. North Korea on Wednesday became the second Russian ally to formally recognize the independence of the breakaway Ukrainian territory of Donetsk People's Republic, DPR. Donetsk leader Denis Pushilin was quoted as saying by Russia's state-affiliated agency TASS, and I'm quoting, the Democratic People's Republic of Korea recognized the Donetsk People's Republic today, end quote, he wrote on Telegram. The international status of the Donetsk People's Republic and its statehood continues to get stronger. This is another diplomatic victory for us, Pushilin Pushilin said, decision to pave way for future development of economic relations, DPR leader says. The leader of what Russia labors, uh, labels as DPR region thanked com communist nation DP, <laughs> DPRK's regime for recognition and its great support for the Donbas people. This political decision will also provide a basis for the future development of economic relations. Bilateral par partnership will make it possible for our companies to expand their trade. I look forward to achieve, uh, to achieve, to active and fruitful cooperation. Pushilin said, according to TAS agency, talks with the North Korea on uh, DPR's recognition have been underway for a long time. It was uh, notified by DPR Foreign Minister Natalia Nikonorova on July 12, North Korea followed in the footsteps of Moscow's staunch ally Syria and on June 29th also for that on June 29 also formally recognized the independence and sovereignty of Ukraine's two eastern breakaway separatist republics. Now, Moscow had declared the independence of the breakaway oblast of Donetsk and Luhansk back in February, ahead of launching an all-out invasion of Ukraine. <sighs> the territories situated in the eastern Donbas region have been under Russian control since 2014. Ukraine has reserved, had reserved diplomatic ties with Damascus, se had severed, I'm sorry, diplomatic ties with Damascus for its former recognition of the pro-Russia separatist-controlled Donetsk People's Republic and Luhansk, Luhansk People's Republic. It although it yet to issue a response to North Korea's latest move. And I'm going to the next article, which says this, Ukraine cuts ties with North Korea in response to recognition of L, uh, Luhansk and Donetsk uh, DNR. Ukraine breaks off diplomatic relations in response to North Korea's recognition of the so-called independence of the occupied territories of Donetsk and Luhansk ob Oblast. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Ukraine strongly condemns the decision of the Democratic People's Republic of Korea to recognize the so-called independence, uh, independence of the temporarily occupied areas of Donetsk and Luhansk Oblast by the Russian Federation, said a statement of the spokesman of foreign affairs of Ukraine, Oleg Nikolenko. So they won't do anything about it. What are they going to do? Nothing. So uh, on June 30th, Ukraine se uh, severed, severed diplomatic relations with Syria in response to Syria's, Syria's recognitions of the so-called independence of the occupied ter territories of Donetsk and Duhansk oblasts. Okay. 
All right. So, will the list grow? I think so. The next would be Iran, probably, <laughs> and others uh, who uh, who would probably are ready to join the second club. And um, I personally don't really know why. What's the point of uh, North Korea recognizing that? Really, I mean, but probably they try to, you know, uh, they try to. Uh, signal that they are on this side not on that side like it was any doubt but who knows what it, it, it goes through this guy's head uh, Kim Jong-un I'm talking about uh, North Korea's leader so well uh, we'll find out and I'm waiting for these guys uh, these guys being Russia China India and you know the rest the second club to officially um, uh, create a club with a name maybe I'm just you know I don't know old styled or something but I think that you know like these guys have NATO or blah 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 uh, something but not not necessarily only militarily because they're not gonna say military they're gonna say well economic military political uh, group I don't know if they it's gonna be a time when they're gonna say we're gonna call this group I don't know the celestial perfect uh, union of the best countries in God's universe something like that but I'm waiting for that and then you will see about I don't know I would say in the first first uh, first step would be obviously the the, the leaders who's gonna be Russia you know China probably India I'm not sure India if it's gonna be so blood you know like oh I'm gonna come to this club I think India uh, looks around and say I'm gonna be in between uh, and I'm gonna play both of them but who knows we'll see who gets so uh, uh, as, as I said the the big club uh, led by United States slash uh, Zimbabwe from across the Atlantic they committed to that together with uh, some uh, few countries in in Europe they created too much no, not they created they stepped on too many heads in in you know and even uh what what i don't like is i mean i don't like either way but uh, just i don't like this kind of of weasel like attitude i'm the good guy and i smash you but i'm the good guy but uh, instead of saying no i'm the bad guy and i'm smashing you i mean i think the second is a little bit nicer not nicer but at least more truthful than the first one where you want to be the noble one the perfect one but you hurt countries and uh, instead of saying you know what i'm not a noble one i'm the shitty one and you do what i tell you otherwise i'm gonna smack you i mean the second one is at least you know at least you know that's it i don't like they hide behind we're the good ones we're extraordinary we're fantastic and we point fingers at everyone else but we don't have we don't own a mirror to look at us uh, that's why I'm saying uh, the second club will be created out of many countries that are frustrated with the first club after they being you know punched that's why when they go now and they try to bribe left and right China has more money China has more money and is gonna outbid the United States you know the United States used to go, go around the world and say hey we're gonna invest here we're gonna give you some aid but you gotta do this uh, change the reforms and this and that you're gonna follow this they used to hide behind the uh, human rights you know and then you know democracy now democracy freedom and whatever else and now with uh, tolerance and uh, equity and inclusion and blah 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 now those countries uh, were paid to do that and they did because you always find people to do that so now you gotta hire a bidder gonna be China's gonna say no 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 we're the good guys now here you got it. we're gonna invest we're gonna give you some aid no they give you less we're gonna give you more so it's who it's like in a neighborhood who play, pays protection more is this uh, group of uh, thugs or the other group of thugs they're both thugs but these guys are, have more money now than these guys so and they have they kind of have the same uh, uh, muscle and you know so this is how it goes uh, my friends believe me and if you don't want to believe me two clicks and a few books thank you very much for being with me again today stay strong stay smart look for the truth and be just